crash swaps of Uniswap version 3. So I have this uh, tutorial uh, medium article here and so you can follow and this one and it also has github a code everything so if you follow this instruction you get this output and it says yeah, congrats you are 4.8 die and that is basically you run uh, you deploy your smart contract on your local network and then you execute flash swap and which is you borrow some token and without any collateral and you can you kind of uh, you know arbitrary trade and then you get this output arbitrary because there's a, there was an arbitrary opportunity okay and okay so what is this what is main network a uh, main network so it's um, oh wait it's a hard hat as this you know main network thing and I think Truffle also has this functionality and so you uh, this basically let the, your network let your network have the same uh, state as the mainnet okay so so you can you know interact with a you know deploy the contract yeah and you have it has the same state as this uh, mainnet so you you know it would be you can do more you know advanced or more complex thing on your local network so you then the tutorial run within this you know main network so actually you're not you know you you know you're not you know making any profit right because it's not it's, it's just fork fork network okay so and so the question is how do i make you know make this bot work right so that's the, that's the point that's a question i really ask um so i think i think it's oh this is a repository okay and yeah so here how to build arbitrage bot so that's the thing so so there i think there are two ways you can do so one is trade with your fund if you have you know enough token if you have like you know like thousands of thousands hundred let's say hundred thousands of die or you know so like that. you you don't have to you know do flash loan thing because you can you know use your fund use you you use your own fund and trade that thing and then because it would be much you know easy to do you know our church trade because if you you know do flash loan, you have to write code or have to like, you know flash uh, solidity and you have to know how to interact them you know you have to you know it, it dex you know interact integration to dexes and all blah, 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 blah. yeah so it's kind of like uh, over <laughs> yeah over overwhelmed so so you if you have enough amount enough amount of token and you you can you know trade you have you, you get to trade then you can you know is first way you use your own fund and then set if you and then second if you don't have any you know like the amount of tokens you, you don't have any you know then you just you know use flash loan but you have to you know use you have to write code you have to you know you deploy your own smart contract okay oh so by the way so uh yeah but either way you have to you know find arbitrage opportunities right first because it's uh, what's this anyway so yeah f f you have to find arbitrary opportunity because oh i made this bot i made this smart contract a uh, flash loan smart contract that doesn't you know instantly make you profit makes profit right because you have to far first you know find arbitrary opportunity right and so how do so this part this part is very hard i think yeah uh, I mean, one inch or direct API, you know, you can, you know, find, you know, best route, they say best route. Yeah, but, yeah. So using this uh, API, I think you can kind of, you, you can find some opportunities there and then execute the flash zone. Yeah. So you always wait for, uh, you, you look for arbitrary opportunity. Okay. Oh, by the way, so flash loan and trade with your fund. So first way, first way, trade with your fund. So if you build, if you want to build bot, then you, you, you know, as I said, like you have to find arbitrary opportunity. So you need to, 
you need to code uh, in Python or JavaScript, TypeScript, because those three languages, you know, you can uh, interact with, you know, you can do with Web3 stuff, interact with Web3 stuff. So, and Flash on is the same thing, but you have to, you know, since you have to write code, uh, you have to deploy smart contract, you have to, uh, you have to code in Solidity, right? Okay. Okay, so the cost of running bot be uh, first one is transaction fee and the second is flash loan fee. Okay, so you you, you know like flash loan uh, transaction fee, oh transaction fee right. So if you uh, choose uh, Matic or Binance Smart Chain, you know transaction fee is really uh, cheap. So compared to the mainnet, uh, Ether mainnet, yeah. And also usually you know uh, arbitrage you know, or opportunities came, came in, come in uh, when volatility is high, right? So, meaning the gas price is also high, right? So, transaction fees get really high. So, yeah, that's why transaction fees, you know, you have to choose wisely, you know, which network you want to execute flash loan, okay? And the, la the flash loan fee. So, this one's also... So, for example, Uniswap and Aave charge some per, uh, some percentage of flash loan fee. So, if you use DYDX or Dodo, they don't. So, but never try DYDX before, and yeah, never. Um, yeah, I would say. So Dodo, if you you Dodo, you don't have to pay anything, and you don't. You can Dodo has also you know flash loan on. You can flash on uh, on Polygon network and also Binance Smart Chain as well. So it's I, one of one of my favorite. But uh, if you borrow uh, to token from Dodo, then you cannot you know exchange. You cannot swap on that pool using that pool. So you have to. So the basically why why this problem because you um, you borrow from Dodo version to pool. And then if Dodo version, if you wanna execute, if you wanna swap on that pool, then it's gonna be like re-entering, you know, so the transaction will revert. So, uh, yeah, that, that, those kind of things happen. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching.